How's it going, everybody? This is your friend Vognis here, and we're continuing with another episode of Oxen Free. Right from where we were last time. So let's get going. Man. So, I wonder if you guys have any theories about what might be going on. I mean, I don't know. I honestly, I have so many different theories about what's happening right now, but I don't want to say any of them, to be honest. They're not, they're not good theories. Okay, I don't know what that does. Maybe finding those does something. Is there anything here? Doesn't seem like it. Go up this way. I don't like how this bridge looks. Oh, okay. There's a guy here. They said the radio has tours or something, right? This is beautiful. Music is so crazy. All right, come on. Let's go, Jonas. Adventure awaits and maybe more death. I like how they make it uh, Carissa at first, so it's like you don't really care, you know? But I know it's gonna happen with um, one of these guys who I do like, like Ren or Jonas. And then it's gonna be like, oh no, you know? Like I don't know. Okay, uh, the Adler Estate. Oh, that's not where we're trying to go. Yeah, Calm Tower. Okay. It's a long bridge right there. The art style of this game looks so good too. I mean the character models could be a little bit more sharp, but I don't know, that might be on my end because of um, the way I have my stuff set up. Go to cliffs. Is that where we want to go? No. Okay, we have to go back. Yeah. Okay. There we go. coming up from the tower the dick tower i think you mean harden tower <laughs> please don't ruin that for me it's all i have left how are you um still holding all your parts together emotionally um kinda some things are slipping the rotors a little but you know whatever any luck contacting somebody nope no luck to speak of and honestly i thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump i found like 50 bucks in the street and i knew who it well belonged. we're all here now well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all might here, be and dead. we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. We, Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. I know. How can you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out cuz if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not Maybe that's doing not all right. the drugs is what's oh, making you god. get possessed more easily. 
Well, I guess not. Jonas got possessed too, so maybe this it doesn't matter. Doesn't work. Maybe he should not just do anything. all the drugs. I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. What's that uh, mean? Sorry, I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You nope. have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh, Look, we tuned into something in the cave and uh, it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Okay. Do you? Yeah, totally. What's the plan? It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My what? sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate like two brownies. Well, and I'm not exactly. saying it's the best plan, There's no other plans. What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> there's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. Why? What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, are you serious? This was your fault. Even a blind guy could flail around and bump into that conclusion. You crawled into that hole. You got us stuck. Guys, come on. And you tuned into the triangle thing, Alex. Yeah, true. So you can't pin the entire thing on me. Especially when the actual cause... And I freely admit it. In front of... Whatever. In front of Nona and Ren, I blew it. Okay? I should have known better. Yeah. You didn't blow it, Alex. You only screwed up, apparently, by bringing Jonas along. And I freely blame your mom for that. Wow. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Okay, Ren, just... Take a yeah, step back. Everyone All right? needs to Jonas calm down isn't here. A weirdo. He's a he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly muster. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look. I don't care what caveman Jonas says. There what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like, you know... Yeah, let's just I'm go. Fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't. So much you, angst. You shouldn't go alone. We don't need like so three much of us drama. Up here. Yeah, I'll totally I love go. it. It's my someone like, slap someone idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You are. Please. Just shut up, both of yeah, you. Please, sorry. Jesus. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Damn All it. Right, she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's fine. Let's just go. Damn it. What? First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God I wanted to what, take Ren. And now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Damn it. Him? 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 Ren, come on. You did eat, It'll be fine. You did eat we'll another brownie, though, talking. honestly. Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care? I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. God. Wow, this is... 
So much, so much teenage energy. I can't deal, man. Somebody throw something! Okay, so... I hope they're not gonna, like, make me hook up with Jonas or anything, because I really don't care about that kind of stuff right now. I just want to see what's going on with the whole radio demons. It looks pretty awesome. Ren's kind of a jerk, too, to be honest. I mean, uh, Jonas has a point. Like, all this crazy stuff is happening. He's getting possessed. This isn't the time to be getting high, you know? That's how bad things happen. What if a demon shows up now and you're too stoned to pay attention, you know? Not that I'm against smoking. It's just that, dude, if we're... Let's say me and you are hanging out somewhere, and I'm talking to you right now, whoever's watching. Me and you are hanging out somewhere. Demons show up. This isn't the time to be smoking a J, okay? We need to get out of wherever we are, figure, you know, a plan, get something happening, because if you're just stoned the whole time, what the hell are we going to do? I would never do it. I would never do it. I wouldn't drink or smoke in this type of situation. Or any type of okay, serious look, situation. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Hey, I was just the girl on the sidewalk watching the car crash happen in slow motion. Yep. But you should nip it in the bud with Ren when we get back. Just say you're sorry. <sighs> Fine. For you, I will apologize to Ren when I see him. Good. Look. Problem solved. Everybody's on edge. I get it. You know? Everybody's dealing with a lot of stuff right now. It's cool. I get it, man. It's stressful being possessed. Watching someone die twice in different ways. So, I wonder... Are these things gonna kill any of us, honestly? Because Clarissa... I mean, was that like a warning? Maybe? I don't know. Now we're not so talkative anymore. We're having so much fun too, Jonas. But it's okay. Man, I have so many ideas about what's going on. I don't know. Let me let me know if you guys have any theories about what you think's happening if you don't know already, you know? If you're watching with me and you don't know what the game is for the first time, I don't know. Let let me know what you th what you think is going on, and then we'll find out what's actually going on. Okay, parkour skills. What's this? Are we supposed to jump up that? No. Bridge stand. No, that's not where I want to go. We want to go to the Epiphany Fields. I love games like these so much. I don't know what it... I don't even know. Story. I'm so intrigued. It like hurts. I'm so interested it's hurting my brain right now. That's Le Manchon. Head to the left. There's like some Tron music going on here. Let's go. The music gets so so dark. What's gonna happen? Okay, keep heading left. Main Street. Okay, is, here we are, Main Street. This is whatever, but are you like religious at all? 
I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know. Why? I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist, and, but, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Some aspects of it just, uh, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Mm. Huh. I'm surprised, to be honest. I didn't think you'd have this... I just didn't think you'd be that way. Like, at all. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well I was gonna say okay, oh. but I'm not too sure about that. She's alive. You... You're alive, man! I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh Jesus! Oh she God! The, she's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not. I am not getting used to this. I'll be honest. Uh, Clarissa. Oh God, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Maybe they want to. Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow. Is that the like point of trying to trying to whatever like, talk through us? Or, or maybe something? not. Yeah, or maybe they want something else. Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hon? There we go. We're warming up the reactor. Alex, a little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Engine one is on. Now beginning triangle two. Jesus. Oh, there's a face. You think you can control me? Clarissa? There you go. Are you... Are you not possessed right now? Possessed. I am possessed. I am consumed with an unending fury. She was wonderful with her hands. Yet, I keep hurting, and I really don't want to. Consumed with... What are you mad at? We're, we've all been... I'm not mad, dear. I'm tired. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Whoa. Is she okay, or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. Okay. How did I get That's here? a little crazy. We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. No clue. The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Why would you feel like that, Clarissa? Wait, Because you're a mean-spirited bitch? Already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew yeah, this Yeah, honestly. I thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. Why does it have There's to be no my fault? There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Oh, bitch. Because you did not her. just say that. Like, do you under... Clarissa, just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here. Go, until bitch? this one convinced him to take her you swimming go? for one last God knows what. Slapper. And he drowned. 
He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Uh. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Oh, you are such okay, a bitch. Okay, enough, seriously. Fuck this you. Is, Clarissa, this Fuck is Fuck you, so, Clarissa. I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're going to break into that office, and we're going to find the key. And we're going to oh, go man. home. Oh, man. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's wait. What wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? I don't care. That's crazy. Fuck was, that bitch. It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Clarissa? Wait, Clarissa was just. How dare? By the money. How fucking wait, dare getting, somebody say some shit like again. that? Are we? Did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't. I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the why are there ghosts? Why why is any of this happening? Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit. But I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets cuz just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well, I'm not going to whatever. We're here to get the key and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. Let's the office do it. is right here. So, how do I get in there? Is this door accessible now? Let's get in. Come on, Alex. <laughs> I'm trying to, Jonas. I'm not seeing any letters appear on the doors. That's why I'm not. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Oh, yeah. wait, alarms. what about, like, the alarms? Yes, please, come and arrest us. Just get me out of here. True. Make a good point, Jonas. <laughs> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Okay, not going to Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <laughs> More demons. <sighs> Never gets old. <laughs> you said it. I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Oh? It says radio that, upgrade? Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave assisted lock. Ah, they use um that frequency thing where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It oh. must work for the gate too. Uh okay. Cool. Great. Oh wait, look at this. Personal Alpha, effects of Margaret November, Dorothy Adler. Tango. India. Quebec. Why would her stuff Uniform. be here? Didn't Echo. her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom? Steal a boat and leave. Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. November. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. And then it's just signed. Oh, I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this: finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. <laughs> Please mechanical do not unicorn. get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. I think it's much more than recycling, Jonas. We're talking about the supernatural here. 
And I feel an itch for some adventure. As long as nobody dies. Which they probably are gonna die, so. Oh. Oh my god, the, the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. Refuse distance or triple the basis confusion. Okay, so it's basically just saying what she said. She summed it up quickly there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to end that one here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Oh man, how interesting is this story, huh? Oh man, I can't even, I can't even put it into words how excited I am. But uh, if you guys are enjoying, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, love you guys, bye bye.